Let's make our way back to the village. Can we fast travel back there? Oh, damn it. Fast travel is unavailable at the moment. Damn plot. Oh, I'm hoping for the best here. Whoa! What the Whoa. hell are you? What is that monster? I've never seen anything like that before. That's... Frightening. Is that what the Isle Birds were anxious about? This monster? Sorry, but I'm gonna need you to move. Interesting. Let's go. Mysterious fledgling? Hmm. Let's get a Kala out here. It's untamable. Interesting. Akala! <laughs> nice one, Akala. Looks like this thing is weak to bows, huh? Right. Let's defend. I don't know what it's capable of. She'll scream. My prey awaits. Interesting. Let's finish this. Let's go. Akala. Nice one, Akala. I'm hungry. I don't like the fact that the music hasn't stopped. The hell's going on here? All right, let's keep heading back. Should be around the bend, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, hello, guys. What the? Ho oh, Chet! What's going on? What happened here? There's... Was something supposed to be happening here? Or is it just the fact that these beastlings are here that indicates something happening here? Because the last time we passed around this bend, it looked pretty much the same. Village. Our village. The monster came. Smashing village. That can't be good. Oh no. Where's Master Cuba? Fighting monster. Still fighting. Chet. What's wrong? You stay here with the others, okay? Okay. Let's go, Akala. Come along, Therion. We've got work to do. Let's go to Juva. Is there anything we can purchase from the peddler before we go? A better axe? Can we use that? We already have armor. Uh, we could buy one more healing grape. We'll get a shield as well. We might as well take the axe. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, Master Juva, hang on. Master Juva. And what is that? What is that monster? Be gone, calamity. Leave this place. So, the change in the island was your doing. Interesting. I have not seen its like before. Where did it come from? Could it be a harbinger of the coming night? Surely not. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. The years have dulled my edge, I see. No, Chet. Flee. It's too strong. Come on. We need a boss fight, and I'm going to get one. Because otherwise, we'll just be leaving Juva to die. And that's not something I'm okay no. with. No running. Not anymore. You know what to oh, do, Chet. Oh, Chet. Hunter runs away from her quarry. And whatever this is, it hurt the villagers. Come on, you want to fight? Here I am. All right, Ochet. Take aim, and may your arrows fly true. Come on, then. My prey awaits. 
A dark entity, huh? Doesn't even have a name. I would presume it's untamable. All right. Let's get a call out here. You're weak to daggers, huh? Dark breath. Interesting. Let's go. All right, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna need to check if you're weak to bows. Nope, you aren't. That's unfortunate. We won't be able to use precise shot then. Can we use axes? We can. All right. Bite down. Ugh. We're weathering this damage pretty well, thankfully. All right, let's get a call out here again. Thankfully, using a call doesn't take any SP. All right, let's do this. We're gonna use all our BP here. All right, once more. Nice, 500 damage. Looks like you're still standing. Dark spawn. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Here we go. Please tell me you're all weak to daggers because we could sure as hell use that manticore. Damn. And you're all going to do quite a bit of damage. Here we go. All right, let's see. I'm going to hope you're weak to bows. All right, one on each of you mysterious fledglings. Nice! Looks like you are weak to bows. All right, let's see. Do I have anything? Damn, unfortunately not. All right, I'm gonna have to use the best AoE attack I can muster then. Let's get the Manticore back out here. Nice! We took out all the fledglings! And all we have to do is worry about this dark entity. Alright, let's see. We could use a healing grape. Looks like I made a good call. This thing's dark attacks do quite a bit of damage. Alright. Let's get a call out here a few more times. All right. Let's boost this. Nice, another 500 damage. I wouldn't try reasoning with this thing, Ochet. Had things tougher than I thought. I hope you're not losing steam, Ochet. Looks like we've just unlocked Ochet's latent power. That's nice to see. Let's see what it has to offer us. Alright, let's see. Let's use some jerky here. Nice! 300 HP and 20 SP. Dark spawn. More fledglings, I see. All right, let's defend to conserve some BP. All right. One precise shot on each of the fledglings. There we go. That should be three easy breaks for us. Nice dodge by Ochet there. Ochet's latent power is animal instincts. It allows us to gain access to special skills which we can use without consuming SP. Right. Interesting. Alright. Let's get the Manticore out first, though. Because I want these fledglings out of my sight. Oh wow, these things are stronger than I thought they'd be. Ow. Ow. You know, that doesn't hurt very much, but it is annoying. I would like it if you promptly stopped doing that, thank you very much. 
you shouldn't have much health. I should be able to use the Manticore again. There we go. Thankfully, it doesn't look like you have nearly as much physical attack as you do elemental attack. Alright, let's see. Let's defend. The Dark Entity is almost done for. Shouldn't be much longer now. All right, Ochet. It's time to tap into your animal instincts. Beastly Claws unleashes a phys powerful physical attack on all foes. Beastly Howl reduces physical and elemental defense of all foes for three turns, and reduces their shield points regardless of their weak points. Beastly Fangs unleashes a highly powerful physical attack on a single foe. I think that's what we're gonna need. All right, Ochet. You know what to do. Let's do it! That's my quarry! 12 16! Whew! <sighs> I'm hungry. And we get 40 XP for that, and Ochet is now level 7. Christ, I didn't know Beastly Fangs would do that much damage. You should take the finishing blow while you can, Ochet, because otherwise it might take the chance to finish off Juva with a pot shot. No longer trust. Cannot be allowed. What the hell are you talking about? To Who are we not trusting? Christ. Ochet, that creature was only the beginning. A greater calamity approaches our island, even as we speak. Thankfully, Juva's strong. He'll survive. The night of the Scarlet Moon. The Scarlet Moon? Once every 400 years, there comes a night when the moon turns scarlet. This night brings disaster and destruction for the island. So the legends say. Master Juva! Follow me, Ochet. I must show you something. Kohaze. I really hope you're not about to blame this on us. Well done, Warden. I should have known you could best that creature. Thank you. And you, the Warden's chosen hunter. <sighs> Did you come all this way to offer mere flattery? No, to offer thanks. You saved our village, and brought home our lost child. I am in your debt, O oh Warden. Consider our quarrel over territory settled. For now. Come. Master Juva. That was an interesting non sequitur, but didn't you have something to show us, Juva? Do humans ever get tired of talking about territory? It is their greed talking, Nochet. There is no point in engaging them. Kinda seems like now might be a good time to cooperate, though. Hmm. Come, Nochet. Right. All right, Juva, what is it that you have to show us? Ah, this mural. It gives me very Breath of the Wild vibes with how it represents four this? divine beasts and one great calamitous being. I'm pretty sure I've already read this. 
Terra, Cataracta, and Glycius. The three creatures watched over the island for many years, before departing to become guardians of other lands. Should their might be needed again, they must be called back to the island before the calamity of the Night of the Scarlet Moon. The Night of the Scarlet Moon? It is an old, old legend. But it appears to be on the verge of coming true. You once told me that the island would be too heavy a burden to bear. And yet, it cannot be borne by any other than you. So, what's our objective? You must go, Ochet. The island must be prepared to face this peril by gathering the three creatures of legend. What? But Master Juva, if I leave the island, where will everyone get their food? I'm pretty sure we have hunters well enough skilled to feed the island in our we absence. We will manage somehow. Ochet, you are special. The moment I saw you as a newborn babe, I heard the voice of my heart. One day, this child will save the island from destruction. I trusted that voice and raised you to be a hunter. All right, Master Juva. It looks like we've got our quarry settled, then. I'll do it. I'll find those creatures of legend and bring them back. Spoken like a true apprentice of mine. I leave the island in your hands, Ocha. I grow weary. I must rest now. You definitely should, especially after that fight. Master Juva? Master Juva! He's just sleeping. Uh, uh... Come on, Ochet, it'll take more than that to bring Juva down. He's strong. Don't do that to me. He'll be fine. <sighs> Sleep well, Master Juva. All right. I guess my only clue is that freeze. Well, I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'll search at my own pace. Do you think Therion has any idea? I'm starting to look forward to this. It's gonna be my greatest hunt yet! You have memorized your quarry then? And remember, no eating the creatures of legend. I'm pretty sure that's a given. Alright, I leave Master Juve in your care then. Jerky, take it, eat it. Jerky, take it. Thank you, everybody. I'll 
be back. Don't worry. And I'll bring all three of the creatures of legend. See you soon. Oh, Chet leaves the island with her faithful companion. The calamity known as the Night of the Scarlet Moon strikes every 400 years, and they must defend their island by bringing back three creatures of legend. The sea is wide, but the world beyond wider, with more to see, hear, and learn than Ochet ever imagined. And that brings an end to Ochet's Chapter 1. Leave the hunting to me. You'll have all the tasty meat you want. <laughs> I'm already looking forward to snacking together. All right, if you say so. All right, let's see. Who are we replacing? Perhaps Agnia, considering she's been in the party next longest after Hikari and Casti. Still don't understand why we can't replace Particio. All right. We now have all members of our party in hand. I wonder what there is next to do. Man, there is so much out here. I wonder where to next. For the sake of maximizing efficiency, I think I might want to go to Sai, Hanning Creek, or perhaps even Winterbloom, where we can take on Casti's Chapter 2, Throne's Chapter 2, and also follow the scent of commerce with Particio. But I'll have to leave that thinking to my own time. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Octopath Traveler, everybody, and I hope you'll stay tuned for the next one. Until then, I hope you all have a great day, and take care.